we created a very athletic form by using very controlled surfaces, very, very clear lines to produce a kind of a dynamic form. The exterior and the interior, they match very well together because we tried to bring in some characters of the exterior into the interior. In the interior, we tried to emphasize the horizontal elements. Each and every model from Mercedes-Benz has its own and very special character, and so does our new E-Class. The E-Class for us is the best business limousine of the world, and so the design should transport a lot of values like safety, security, sophistication, but also fascinating design, of course. With the new E-Class, we created a look which is contemporary, modern, but also very self-assured and status-like. Well, tradition for us as Mercedes-Benz is very important due to the fact we're the most traditional car maker in automotive history. We have here the 180 Ponton, which is something like the, the father of the E-Class. Each and every Mercedes always is a certain evolution and a certain revolution. And so um, you always see a certain family resemblance with the car. In that case, it's very nice to see total different cars, but also still both of them carry that Mercedes-Benz DNA, which continues the tradition from the past into the future. The front end of the new E-Class shows three most important design aspects. First, a consequent further development of the four eyes face, which now ends in a kind of diamond, almost cubistic uh, design, which is very logically shaped into all the chamfers and lines on the fenders and coming from the hood. The second thing is the status oriented steeper and more pointed grille, which shows more status and more brand, again, which is very important for this car. The third aspect is the further developed, very three-dimensionally shaped uh, front bumper, which gives the car a wonderful stand on the street as well. Fluently connected to the lines and surfaces of the front end, the side of the new E-Class shows the typical Mercedes-Benz proportions, but with much more move and an almost swinging dynamic, starting with the belt line high where the passenger is, running in a bow low down into the trunk shot line, supported by the typical Mercedes-Benz undercut line, which starts near to the belt line but opens logically and running into the front bumper edge. Starting with a fast swinging A post, the roof has its highest point at the front passenger position, which gives the car an enormous push forward and offers the passenger an enormous amount of comfort. The sporty elegance of the car is also pointed out by the newer rear fender design, which ends stretched lined into the rear light and gives the car dynamic sportiness, but a logical flow of lines into the rear deck.